ladies and gentlemen, a classic illusion in the art of magic, the cups and balls. Now, it uses three cups and a little ball, if I can find that. The ball is placed underneath one of the three cups. I will mix them around. You have to guess where the ball is. But you see, there are two elements here. Number one, green mat, green ball. That helps me switch it from cup to cup without you noticing it move. Number two, the ball is soft. You can't hear it. So whenever I remove the ball from the cup, you're not sure if it's there or if it's already in my pocket, which it normally is. But you see, I am from Pittsburgh, and in Pittsburgh, of course, uh, when I was a kid, I learned how to do this trick. I didn't know you were supposed to do the trick with a little sponge rubber ball like that. I started doing the trick with something I found in my dad's toolbox. He worked in the steel mills of Pittsburgh, and I found a steel ball bearing. So I would place the steel ball underneath the cup, and it added the element of sound. So when I, I moved the cups around, you could hear it. I would then shift them around and say to my mom and dad, where is the ball? And the smarter of the two knew immediately. That was mom. <laughs> but it was underneath the cup that made the noise, and pretty soon I realized you can't fool anyone with a steel ball and a metal cup because of the element of sound, unless you can cause the sound in the ball to disappear. <laughs> and to travel over here inside the ball. That's what it looked like the first time. I'll do that again. If you watch the ball, take a guess. Steve, which cup do you think it's under? Middle? Absolutely. No matter what you choose, you're a winner. <laughs> three cups, three balls, now we're ready to start the trick. But if you watch the ball right here in my hand, whenever I give it a push, it goes right to the top, balanced on the edge. I'll do that again. This one goes right to the top of two cups. Again, balanced on the edge. However, I want you to know where the balls are. And since I've added the element of sound, I'm going to let you not only see them go under the cups, but if you listen, you'll actually hear. Ball number one under cup number one. Ball number two, that stays under cup number two. And ball number three under cup number three. And if I take two of them invisibly, I set them down, I give them a little tap, and now that's gone, that's gone, because now they're all together. Thank you. But you know, it is the end of this trick, and if we were doing this on the streets, this is where I'd win your money. This is where I'd win your money by turning to the tallest guy in the room, and they do that so that everyone can look back and watch his eyeballs. And they say, sir, I'm going to let you win. I'm going to remove one ball from the game. And then they say, sir, I'm really going to let you win. I'll get rid of another ball. And they take a second ball out of the game. And then they set the psychological hook. They say, sir, just for fun, how many balls under the middle? Well, the minute they say just for fun, his ego takes over. And he decides to show the uh, crowd he's very intelligent and he's on to the game. And he'll answer honestly, one. And immediately they say, we have a winner. We, oh, that was just for fun. Bring out your wallet. Make your big bet next time. You're smart. You're on to this game. And what they do is they slip another ball under the cup. <laughs> Let me explain. You see, they never take the ball out of the game. They never really put it in their pocket. What they do is they slip it under the cup as they lift the cup up. It looks like it was there all the while. But if I really get rid of the ball, sir, just for fun, how many balls under the middle? Uh, one. No, for you, I did all three. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you can't do this trick with just three balls. You need an extra one. In fact, there's an extra one right over here. And there's another extra one right over there. Now, they're both pretty big and they're both fairly heavy. But underneath the center cup is the biggest one of all, because there, it, no, that's not it, that's the biggest one. But I can't figure out where it comes from. Thank you.